If you don't give your heart to the Lord, and that might mean something like raising your hand, all eyes bowed, you know, all heads bowed, all eyes closed. Now, if you accept Jesus into your heart, raise your hand. Okay, it can be something as simple as that. All right. If you don't do that, then you're going to burn in hell for all eternity. In other words, my 70 years of living in sin equals got me eternity in hell, which doesn't seem fair anyway. But that's the traditional concept. Now, I don't believe that tra traditional concept, but that is the traditional concept that is out there. Uh, now, if you believe that, Christians, what are you doing? If it's that simple... If salvation is that simple, if it's the easiest thing you will ever, if it's like it's like sliding down a fireman's pole, you're up on the top level, you're going to slide down the fireman's pole with butter on your fingers and in your hand, and, you know, on your hand. How easy would it be to slide down the pole? Okay, salvation is presented that easy, okay? It's easier than finding a mate. It's easier than holding down a job. It's easier than finding a career. It's easier than going to college. It's easier than starting your own business. It's easier than building a house. It's the easiest thing you will ever do. Now, if, it, if that's true, and, and, if, and if these people don't, don't raise their hand, that's all they got to do, just raise, invite Jesus into their heart. If they don't do that, they're going to spend eternity in hell, burning according to the tra traditional concept. Now, if that's true, what is, what is your church doing? What is your church doing spending millions of dollars on a building with ping pong table, bowling alley, movie night, movie theater, coffee shop? What, what, why not take that money to reach people with that simple gospel of just raise your hand and try to keep them out of hell? What are you, if salvation is that simple, of just raising your hand, and if I don't do that, if I don't raise and invite Jesus and Jesus into my heart, I'm going to burn in in a lake of fire forever. If you really believe that, then let me tell you something about yourself. If you really believe that, if you really believe that, you wouldn't even be going to church. It's a waste of time. Why would you go to church to entertain yourself? You wouldn't live in a home. You'd live in a tent if you believe that. You know, you wouldn't have an air-conditioned home. That's too much money. You know, that's just a waste of, waste of time and energy there. You wouldn't have a fancy car trying to impress people. No, you would take that money and try to save souls. You wouldn't be planning a vacation. There's no time for that. Souls are going to die and burn in hell if you don't reach them. All right? So the reason I don't believe God is calling all people to, to right now is because Christians' total lackadaisical approach over the issue. They're not doing anything, for pity's sakes, besides going to church. You know? I mean, if, if, if you actually believe that, that people are going to burn in hell forever because of your laziness and not doing anything. Now, listen, <clears throat> I know what that traditional concept is a lie. 